everybody, I am Janani from the Hindu Senior Secondary School. Today, let's embark on a journey beyond Earth's bounds, exploring the remarkable world of moon missions. We all know Chandrayaan 3's limitations and success. Unfortunately, its lander was not able to survive the harsh lunar nights as Chandrayaan 3 solely depends upon solar power. The lunar night's temperature can go as low as minus 200 degrees Celsius, so it's nearly impossible for any electrical gadgets to survive out there. Now, think about it. How can future moon missions overcome these obstacles that are posed by lunar nights? That's where our idea comes into the play. In this innovative scenario, we have a satellite that is fixed in the moon's orbit and it has a laser that is powered with the solar panels. This is not an um, ordinary laser, but this is a high power laser beam. So this laser beam is directly projected into the photovoltaic cell of the moon lander. This laser beam becomes a lifeline for the moon lander's vital components to survive during the lunar nights and carry out its main mission during the lunar day that is to collect and transport data of the moon back to the earth. If you think about it, this solar panel uh, satellite can also be uh, used for multiple landers and other countries similar moon missions. By this way we are using space resources effectively and earning funds by them. Now let us do demonstration with this working model. Here you are viewing the landscape of lunar night. The sun provides energy to the satellite from the other side of the moon. It provides high power laser beam pointing to the moon lander which generates electricity for its survival on the cold lunar nights. By this way, the satellite powers multiple landers cost efficiently. Have a look at our satellite which contains a laser module and a solar panel. This model is for our future lunar missions. In conclusion, our uh, spacecrafts illustrates human curiosity and determination. Let their legacy inspire us to innovate, create and crack the mysteries of the universe. Thank you.